It's a new year and 2024 sees with it a brand new series of diecast racing here on the Backyard Jam channel as we welcome in the regular season. 24 contestants all signed up, all will race it out in a knockout bracket style racing here side by side on the track. A mixed field here sees some all-stars from Backyard Jam's past mixed with some all-stars from YouTube. Very exciting stuff, but some of the big names you'll recognize from Backyard Jam. We've got Mohawk Warrior, one-time champion, Earthshaker, a one-time champion, Blue Thunder, a one-time champion, even Zombie. And we've also got Avenger. And throwing it all the way back to the very early beginnings, El Toro Loco, the first champion on Backyard Jam. But let's take a look at the full lineup of trucks competing tonight and for the rest of the year. Avenger rocking the split paint scheme for tonight. Downtown Mitch Brown all the way from Midwest Madness driving Bigfoot. Blue Thunder returns with a new chassis scheme. Bog Hog makes its debut here on the Backyard Jam channel as does Brutus. Dragon returns last seen in the summer showdown. Excited to have them back. Earthshaker also returning. And the first Backyard Jam champion, El Toro Loco. Then on to Excalibur, always quick on the track. Gravedigger in a new setup, looking very cool. Iron Outlaw is here for the first time. Jester in the new red scheme, looking very, very clean. A new chassis setup for Jurassic Attack for this season. Lucas Crusader making their debut this year. Lumberjack returns, now driven by a man called Jack. Excited to see that. Max D also making their return. We then move on to Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Champion Monster Mutt coming off of a big win in the Funky Madness Backyard Challenge. Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Caden Wilson, big name in the diecast scene, is here with us. Rockwell Red makes its debut. Shaker returning from Series Red now, driven by Devon Treat, big name as well in the diecast scene. Stone Crusher is here for the first time as his tailgater. And finally, the Green Biker Zombie is the truck chosen at the end there and here we have the bracket for January's racing action. Bigfoot will take on Rockwell Red, Avenger takes on Earthshaker, Jurassic Attack against Dragon, Monster Mud against Monster Mud, Rottweiler, a bit of a dog fight that one, El Toro Loco against Tailgater, Excalibur against Brutus, Mohawk Warrior against Stonecrusher and Max D takes on Blue Thunder. First round buys go to Lumberjack, Boghog, Jester, Iron Outlaw, Lucas Crusader, Gravedigger, Zombie and Shaker. It's gonna be an awesome night of racing and we kick things off at the top left of the bracket as the big name downtown Mitch Brown in Bigfoot takes to the track for the first time here on the regular season. Looking forward to seeing what they can bring. They'll be going up against Rockwell Red, driven by Dolphin Master. This brand new truck looks very, very clean. Looking forward to seeing them debut on the track. I'll tell you what, it's pretty fresh out here on the track, but it is January at the end of the day. Rockwell Red is going to be in the near lane for our first race of 2024. Bigfoot in the far lane. We are ready to go racing. Let's do it. The gates fly open and we're off. Bigfoot and Rockwell Red coming down the track a little bit. Kelly Wampus in the air was Rockwell Red and Bigfoot goes through the line to the win. Let's take a look. Landing sideways on, not going to make the line like that. Did well to not roll the truck over early doors. Mitch Brown moves on to the next round. Bigfoot looking strong early on. Awesome race from these two. Let's see what's next. Chip Chocolate in Avenger, the split paint scheme, and it's a one-time event champion of Series Blue in 2023. Excited to see what they can bring against Steve Calabrese in Earthshaker, one-time event champion of Series Yellow. The new Earthshaker also competed in the summer season. Didn't quite do as well there, but they're going to hope to bring the wins in the regular season. Avenger is in the near lane, Earthshaker in the far. Let's go green. Gates are open, Avenger got a little bit caught. Advantage goes to Earthshaker and a roll at the line. Avenger goes over, but I'm not quite sure who's won it. It was very, very tight, despite the little bobble at the very start of the race. Here we can see the slow-mo replay, that is tight. It looked like Earthshaker perhaps, but Avenger was on their way back in. We're gonna to go to the super slow replay. Let's take another look. Oh no, we're going to a line. The line on the screen tells all. Avenger by a headlight moves on. What a race these two have put on for us. Avenger going on to the next round. Ian Spiros of Jurassic Attack is next up to the track. The new chassis looking very clean indeed. Looking forward to seeing them down on the track. They're going up against Cyclops Hobbies in Dragon who we last saw on the summer season. What can Dragon bring? They had an awesome freestyle run we saw before, but can they bring it in racing as well? They've always struggled a little bit there. 
Can they do it tonight against Jurassic Attack? Gates are open and Dragon pulling just ahead. Can they keep the win? A roll at the line, but I think they won it. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay. Up and over, rolling over that final mogul, but rolling across the line for the win. Jurassic Attack, who weren't even there yet, and I'm not sure they are yet either. Goodness me, a little bit slow there. Something must have gone wrong in the truck from Jurassic Attack, but Dragon on their side, but they are going to go through to the next round. One of the biggest names in Backyard Jam, Mikey Merton of Monster Mutt. We know him, we love him. Funky Backyard Challenge winner. This truck took the team to victory. They've got a tough opponent in Caden Wilson, Monster Mutt, Rottweiler. Huge name on the die car scene. Consistently good in everybody's series. Can they bring the heat here? Caden Wilson in the near lane, Mikey Merton in the far. The dogfight is on. Now on their way down the track, reasonably even. Huge air there from Mikey Merton. It looked like that Rottweiler was going to be ahead, but then it all goes wrong on this last mogul look. Running up and almost turning the truck fully over. They land on their tailgate, can't quite save it as Mikey Merton sneaks by for the win. Over goes Caden Wilson and that's their race done for today. What a shame, they were ahead until they weren't. Mikey Merton in Monster Mutt moves on. Caden Wilson now in the hands of track crew to turn their truck back over. Let's take a look. No damage that I can see, but I don't know what's going on inside that thing. We shall find out next month to see what is going on. The first side of the bracket is complete. Bigfoot moves on to face Lumberjack, Avenger through to face Jester, Dragon on to face Lucas Crusader, and Monster Mutt will face Zombie in the second round. Max D versus Blue Thunder, Mohawk Warrior against Stone Crusher, Excalibur and Brutus all still to come, but up first, Little Chip Chocolate, the second of two the Chocolate Drive trucks. El Toro Loco, the first Backyard Jam champion, is now against Charlie Hubbard. We last saw him in Wolf's Head, now in Tailgater, a truck from his home state of Georgia. We respect that massively. Charlie Hubbard, a friend of the channel, always providing for us. We look forward to seeing what else he can bring to the channel here in racing. He's got a tough opponent. Let's find out. Clean off the line for both of these trucks. Reasonably even down the ramp. El Toro takes a little lead and I think they kept it. A nice clean race from both of these trucks. All four BKT staying firmly on the dirt. Except when going over jumps, of course. A nice clean race. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay. You can just see, I think El Toro takes the cleaner line of the two. Tailgater went a little bit left. Left a little bit to be caught up and they couldn't quite do it. El Toro Loco through to the next round of racing. Excalibur returns to the track now, excited to see them as they are always quick down it, now piloted by Oliver Stapley. Looking forward to seeing what they can bring to the track. They've got a debuting truck that they are up against and I've waited a long time to say that John Rich is driving Brutus. They are down on the track now. Excalibur is in the near lane. Brutus in the far lane. We are ready to go racing once again. Let's go green. Gates are open, down they come. Both trucks reasonably even, flying through as we've seen in races gone by. Excalibur knows how to put the fast pedal down when it counts. Little bit of a bobble there on the final moguls, but Brutus by that point had already gone sideways, got caught up and they stay exactly where they are. A very well-trained dog is Brutus. Excalibur flies through and on to the next round. Next to the track, RRC Family Gaming driving the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, this one-time event champion of Series Red. They are always quick on the track, but we don't know anything about Stone Crusher. They're debuting tonight. Wegner Racer is bringing the truck here and looking forward to seeing what Stone Crusher can do. They are up on the track now. Stone Crusher in the near lane. Great Clips Mohawk Warrior in the far lane. Mohawk standing tall. We wait to go green. Fast out of the gates. Pulling ahead is Mohawk Warrior. Huge air there, but they got caught up. Stone Crusher takes the win. A textbook sky wheelie from Mohawk Warrior, but comes down right into the Moguls. Hits that, goes sideways, leaving the door wide open for Stone Crusher. Awesome win for them. They're first on the board. Exciting stuff, I'm sure. Stone Crusher goes on to the next round. It might be retirement year for Tom Mentz, but Hazard County is just getting started in Max D. The maximum destruction truck is here on the track. Modified very slightly, bringing that whole body down. 
to try and get the best vision to beat out FC Productions in Blue Thunder, a one-time event champion of Series Yellow last year. This truck looking very nice, a new chassis set up for them. They're going to hope it's going clean. Their last one had a bit of a tendency to crash out. Gates are open and reasonably even down the track. Up they come, great air from both of them, a nice clean race all the way through, but a barrel dislodged. Let's take a look. Yes, Max D drives straight over this barrel, slowing them down. Blue Thunder takes the win, a nice clean race, and that chassis holding up strong for them. Excellent work from Blue Thunder. Max D, better luck next time. Blue Thunder moves on. Visual confirmation as we close out round one. El Toro Loco will face Boghog. Excalibur moves on to face Iron Outlaw. Stone Crusher will move on to face Grave Digger. And Blue Thunder will face Shaker at the end of round two. Exciting stuff as we move into the second round of racing. And Bigfoot is back on the track. Mitch Brown winning their first race in fine style. But they have the man called Jack. Jack Charlton driving Lumberjack. We last saw Jack driving Avenger in the fan base face-off in 2022. Got a new ride in Lumberjack, looking forward to seeing what he can do here. He is in the near lane, going up against Mitch Brown in the far. It's time to go green once again. Down the track they come, advantage to the Bigfoot early doors, but not getting quite as much air as they hoped over the final mogul, sort of coming back down quite hard, leaving the door open for Lumberjack, who comes back strong at the end, manages to roll over the line to get the win. They are on their lid, but they're going on. Avenger, Jack's old truck, is next up to the track. Chip Chocolate is back. He's going up against Elliot Spiros, driving Jester. Jester returning from a little bit of an absence, now in the cherry red scheme, looking very clean indeed, loving this truck so much. Jester is in the near lane, the split paint job Avenger in the far lane. We're ready to go green once again. Let's do it. Down the track they come. Jester and Avenger very tight. A roll over there from Avenger. And that's a shame because they were level pegging with Jester. Jester very clean across the line. And what a save from Avenger. One wheel was all they needed to roll it back over onto all four. Avenger, save of the night so far. But they are out of the competition. Jester will progress. Cyclops Hobbies returns to the track now with Dragon. They got through their first round race, but they've got tough opponents in Anderson Hill and the Lucas Crusader, debuting for the first time here, but looked very fast in their qualifiers. They are up on the track now. Lucas Crusader in the near lane. Dragon in the far lane. Can the Crusader slay the Dragon? Let's find out as we go racing. Down the track they come, side by side, dragging a little bit ahead here. Bobbles in no man's land though, and Lucas Crusader just about pulls across the line. It's enough to get the win as Dragon is parked on a barrel. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay. Dragon already landed and already heading sideways, did well to save it off of the barrel. Lucas Crusader also a little bit of a save there and just rolls it gently halfway across the line to get the win. Perfectly framed however, Dragon parked on a barrel, not where they want to be. Mikey Merton returns to the track in Monster Mutt, two-time event champion now. One of only two, and he's going up against the other. Jace Usher brings Zombie to the track, overall champion of the Summer Showdown in 22. One-time event champion of Series Red last year. The new Zombie looking very nice here up on the track, going up against Mikey Merton's Monster Mutt. This is going to be a fun one. Gates are open, Zombie grabs hold of the gate, in fact, and they are behind from the very start. A nice clean race as both go up on that last mogul. Let's take a look who got it at the line. Zombie did well to catch up after their bumpy start, but that arm just got in their way as Zombie goes crashing out of the competition. Mikey Merton, Monster Mutt, moves on. Well, it was a close race despite everything that happened, but we now have confirmation Lumberjack will face Jester in the next round. And Lucas Crusader will face Monster Mutt. What a shame there for Zombie. They are going to be gutted with that one, but a different zombie will be coming to the track next month. Still to come, Blue Thunder takes on Shaker, Stone Crusher takes on Gravedigger, Excalibur goes against Iron Outlaw, but up first, Lil Chip Chocolate returns to the track with El Toro Loco, there to face the debuting Boghog. White Curtis brings Boghog to the track. This truck looks awesome. Debuting right here, right now on Backyard Jam. Exciting stuff for this. It's an all-orange affair. El Toro Loco goes against Boghog. Let's go green as we join them down the track. 
Quick out of the gates for both of these trucks. Boghog pulling just ahead, but El Toro came back towards the end there. I'm not quite sure who's won it. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay to find out. Down they came. El Toro Loco pulling ahead and taking the win out from under Boghog's nose. They were ahead for the majority of the race. El Toro put the fast pedal down right at the end and moves on to the next round. Unlucky for Boghog. Not the debut they'd hoped for, but we'll see him again next month. Excalibur returning to the track. Oliver Stapley looked fast in their first race, seemingly picking up where Excalibur last left off. Kane and James TV and the Iron Outlaw. They've got a lot of work ahead of them if they're going to beat out Excalibur, but they were faster in qualification, so who knows what will happen, and they've got lane choice. They've opted for that far lane. It's been quicker when trucks have driven straight down it. We shall see if it pays out for them. Down the track they come. Iron Outlaw pulling just ahead, but too much angle in the air, and what on earth happened at the line there? Let's take a look at that slow-mo replay, because that was an incredible move from the Iron Outlaw. Let's take another look. In they came first, bouncing up and rotating around. It's a move I've only recently seen from Mohawk Warrior on the live circuit over in the States. Now recreated in diecast form. That was awesome action. Excalibur wins the race, but Iron Outlaw wins our hearts. What a move there from them. Stone Crusher returning to the track, and how do you follow that? That was incredible. Stone Crusher, they've got tough opposition. It's Gravedigger, ladies and gentlemen. Josh doing things. He was last driving the Lumberjack, now moving across to the Gravedigger. We see greatness in him. Can he bring home the trophy for Team Gravedigger? We shall find out. Stone Crusher caused the upset earlier. Can they make it two for two? We'll find out now. Gates are open down the track. They come Gravedigger looking strong, pulling ahead. A full flip from Stone Crusher across the line. Let's take a look at the slow mo replay. Let's see who has won it because I think Gravedigger pulled just ahead there. Stone Crusher slowing down on that last mogul. Came down, rolled it over on the lid. Bit of a wheelie there from Gravedigger. That is closer than I thought it was going to be, but Gravedigger pulls just ahead to take the win. Stone Crusher, they go out of the competition, but a decent effort from them. Gravedigger marches on. Our final race for round two. FC Productions returning in Blue Thunder. They have got a mountain to climb here against Devon Treat, famous for the Metal Health monster truck. Shaker is the truck he will be driving here on Backyard Jam this season. Looking forward to seeing what they can bring. Blue Thunder in the near lane, Shaker in the far lane. We are all good to go. Let's go green. Down the ramp they come, reasonably even at this stage. A huge jump there from Devon Treat and a barrel related incident. A BRI sees yet another truck down and out. People can't avoid that center aisle today. Blue Thunder, the latest victim, goes flying into it and over it. Shaker nearly goes over as well, but they are cleanly across the line. Blue Thunder, unfortunately, we cannot say the same for them. They are over and they are out. And now having to be righted by track crew being pulled across the dirt. That can't be good for the BKTs. They can't get them quite over. There we go. Now up on all four BKTs. Who knows what damage it's done to the tyres, but we will find out next month. The leaderboard looks like this. Lumberjack and Jester. Lucas, Crusader and Monster Mutt, El Toro Loco and Excalibur, Gravedigger and Shaker. They are your top eight for this competition going into round three of racing. And there they are all lining up ready to go racing once again. Up first, Jack Charlton returns to the track in Lumberjack. They threw everything at the line to win their first race tonight, rolling the truck over. Elliot Spiros in Jester. They convincingly defeated Avenger earlier on and now they are lining up on the track. Jester in the near lane, Lumberjack in the far. It's time to go racing once again. Let's line up round three. Down the track they come, even out of the gates. Jester, what a move! That was awesome. I think they did a full backflip off of the Mogul. They haven't won the race, but it's a third truck tonight who's pulled off an excellent freestyle move to lose racing eventually. It's a shame they couldn't put the fast pedal down after recovering, but Lumberjack inevitably takes the win. Jester will go out of the competition, but again, what a move from them. Mikey Merton, Monster Mutt returns to the track now to face Anderson Hill in the Lucas Crusader. This is going to be a tough matchup. Monster Mutt has had to fight its way up the ranks today. The Lucas Crusader has only done the one, but made it look easy. This is going to be an interesting matchup. I'm looking forward to seeing both of these trucks head down the track right now. Out of the gates they come, even down the track. 
nice even jump there and it was a close race in the end but ultimately getting a little bit caught up on the moguls monster Mutt made the most of it and they make their way through to get the win mikey merton marches on to another round of racing here on the backyard jam track he's old hat at it now we should come to expect it little chip chocolate keeps el toro loco going in the competition now to face excalibur oliver stapley returning to the track They've done well so far tonight. Can they keep the momentum going? Excalibur in the near lane. El Toro Loco in the far. Both of these trucks looking smart. Let's go racing once more. Gator open. Down the track they come. Up and even so far. Another BRI barrel related incident. As El Toro Loco goes crashing into the center column. Excalibur had the door left wide open for them invited through by el toro loco they are out of the competition excalibur marches on and that is a shame another barrel related incident that center line really upsetting the trucks tonight devon treat comes back to the track with shaker he did well in his first race but is up against josh doing things it's grave digger baby it's that time we all know that grave digger carries with it a lot of praise from our audiences we shall see if they can put it all out on the track because it's not up to them anymore. It's all about that driving skill. Out of the gates they come, down the track. This is looking like a close race. Devon Treat, he goes over. I thought he was going to save it, but didn't quite get there. A very clean race from Josh doing things. Shaker just pulling ahead as well. This is actually a very close race. I'm not sure who got it. We're going to take it down to the super slow replay to find out. One thing's for sure, Devon Treat put everything on the line there to try and get the win. Let's take a look. It is very, very tight, but just by half a tire length, it's going to be Gravedigger. Josh doing things, moves on. Team Gravedigger gets another win on the track. This is some exciting stuff tonight. A great race from these two, putting everything on the line. But it's all Gravedigger here. We are down to our top four. Lumberjack, Monster Mutt, Excalibur and Gravedigger. They will all actually get first round buys in the February event. So congratulations to them for that. But we need to find out who's going to win it and take the big points tonight. Lumberjack will take on Monster Mutt in just a moment. Gravedigger and Excalibur will race later on. Exciting times ahead. Jack Charlton, Lumberjack, his namesake truck is back on the track here to face. Mikey Merton, the two-time event champion on the Backyard Jam circuit. Monster Mutt has been looking strong tonight. But Lumberjack has flown under the radar, I feel. They will certainly be playing the underdog here against the dog of Monster Mutt. Let's see what happens on the track. Down the track they come. Slight edge to Monster Mutt pulling ahead. But another barrel-related incident sees Lumberjack through to take the win. And that is so unfortunate. Just a few, even half a tyre length out from the line. Monster Mutt was clutching defeat from the jaws of victory. What an awful shame for Mikey Merton. That is devastatingly close to the line. Look, the tyre very nearly reaching it. Lumberjack, fair play to them, taking advantage of the mistake from Mikey Merton, now having to be pulled back over onto all four BKTs. Mikey Merton out of the competition, that dog facing the wrong way. That is a shame. Josh doing things in Gravedigger now takes on Oliver Stapley in Excalibur. Both of these trucks have looked good. Gravedigger lucky to get through in its last race. Shaker just not quite quick enough. Excalibur, they know how to put the fast pedal down. Can they take out Gravedigger here in the semi-final? Gates are open. Down the track they come. Slight edge to Gravedigger perhaps in a very close race all the way through. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay to find out who's going to take it. It's Gravedigger. It always was and it always will be. Heading straight through. A great line there from Josh doing things. That is a superb race and probably the fastest of the night. What a great race from these two trucks. Awesome action. Gravedigger takes the win. We have our two finalists. Lumberjack will take on Gravedigger for the January title of the regular season. It's been a tough path for both of these trucks, but not the toughest in the world. Both getting their first round buys and both have capitalized massively on that. They've done very, very well to get to this stage, but we only can have one winner. One of these two trucks is going to take the win tonight. And as far as storytelling goes, you couldn't hope for better. Josh Doing Things drove Lumberjack in the Fanbase Face-Off in 2022, the first sign-up event on the channel. Now, Jack Charlton could take the win, but Gravedigger 
stands in his way and it's a tough opponent to go against. They've looked good, they've looked strong, they've had the fastest racing time tonight. Can they hold on for one more race? We go green for the final race of the January event and it's close one. Gravedigger goes over, it's going to be Lumberjack who takes the win. Let's take a look at the slow-mo replay. It was all going Gravedigger's way until they hit that last mogul, bouncing up into the air and rolling the truck over and Lumberjack flies through to take the win. What an awesome win for Jack Charlton in Lumberjack, the first winner of the regular season. And what a shame for Josh doing things. He did so well all evening long, but just hit that last ramp a little bit too hard. Lumberjack is your one-time event champion of the regular season 2024, your January champion. And we join them now back on the track. They take the flag for the first time in Backyard Jam. The flag flies high for Lumberjack and for Jack Charlton. A massive congratulations to him and his crew on an awesome win tonight. Let's check in on the overall points. Five points apiece go to Rockwell, Red Tailgater, Jurassic Attack, Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Max D, Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior, Earthshaker and Brutus. Then up to 10 points for Zombie, Stone Crusher, Iron Outlaw and Dragon. That's the bottom half of the leaderboard now flipping across to the top half. This is where things are going to look a little bit more spaced out. Also on 10 points, we have Boghog, Blue Thunder, Bigfoot and Avenger, then up to 15 points for Shaker, Lucas Crusader, Jester and El Toro Loco. 20 points go to Monster Mutt and Excalibur, 25 points to Gravedigger and the full 30 points goes to Lumberjack. A massive congratulations once again to tonight's winner Lumberjack. It's been an awesome night of racing and we will do more in February when the regular season returns. We hope you'll join us again for that one. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new and we shall see you in February for more regular season racing. Until then, I've been your host, Jevon Woodrow. Farewell.